Hi, I'm Kurt Jacobs, host and creator of Moxie Talk, and we are coming to you on location from historic Churchill Downs in Louisville, Kentucky, home of the iconic Kentucky Derby. It is my honor to be amongst the world's most experienced thoroughbred horse racing pros. So please join us for some of their stories coming up. Hi, I'm Kurt Jacobs, host and creator of Moxie Talk, and we're here on location at the iconic Churchill Downs and home of the Kentucky Derby. I'm here with Louisville Police Chief Conrad. How are you, sir? Doing well, Kurt. Good to see you. Good to see you. What's your Derby week been like so far? It's been a great week so far. This morning is just amazing. I wish we could order up this weather for the rest of the week. Yeah. What drives you in your area of expertise? I know you've been in the police division for quite a while. You know, I've been in law enforcement now for 39 years, and, and really it is an opportunity to try to help people each and every day. That's what we're about. That's great. What's the best piece of advice ever given to you? Try to do the right thing. I like that. That's pretty simple and to the point. So, what is your favorite name of a horse and why? Have you have one? Or one you can make up? You know, I, I, am, I am not a big horse guy. I love them. They're beautiful athletes. Uh, someone was telling me that one of the derby horses is named Maximum Security, which I guess, you know, from a, from, from a policing point of view, that, that might be a name. Um, I, but, you know, they are um, animals to be treasured, and, and this is a special time of the year for us to honor them. How many derbies have you been to, you think, over the years, either working or enjoying? Gosh, um, I was away in Arizona for six years, but I think I've been at every other derby except for those six, well, at least 33 as a police officer, and then probably six or so before that uh, growing up. Okay, that's great. That is great. So let me ask you a question. We know we do a much more formal studio-type interview, but we can't do that in this setting. You know, God forbid if this was your last derby, your last day on the planet. How do you want to be remembered by friends, colleagues? police officers, people in the community? I know it's a big question in an environment like this, but we'd love to hear your thoughts. You know, I, I think um, what I would like to be remembered for more than anything else is, is that I cared about people and that I was willing to do what I could to try to improve the situation, whatever that might be. Chief Conrad, quite a pleasure for you joining us on your busy day. Thanks so much. Thank, and we'll, you, thank you. And we'll be back with more from Churchill Downs. Thanks so much. Hi, I'm Kurt Jacobs, host and creator of Moxie Talk with Kurt Jacobs, and we're on location at historic Churchill Downs in Louisville, Kentucky, home of the iconic Kentucky Derby. And our guest today is Chef Terry Rotaro, better known as Chef in a Hat. Welcome. Good morning, Moxie. Good morning. Oh, is this... <laughs> Moxie Talk. Good, Moxie. Good morning, Moxie Talk. I like it. All right. Oh, good morning, Kurt. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. What it, have you enjoyed so far about the Derby this week? Well, so far about the Derby, since it hasn't happened yet, yes. I've enjoyed the food in Louisville, Kentucky. The food has been delicious. Yeah. We've had, we've had, I don't even remember what we had. I know last night we had a rabbit corn dog that was quite delicious at a place called Ostra. Uh, that was the highlight of the night because, you know, who's, who's going to make a corn dog out of rabbit? Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ostra does. <laughs> well, that's great. That's great. And so, we also, you know, a couple of karaoke's, karaoke's after that, you know. Mm -hmm. Seems like the town is happening, so... Uh, oh, this is a big deal for Louisville. It's huge. And, uh, of course, the first liquid was a mint julep. You guys know how to make that like nobody's business. Mm -hmm. It's excellent. So, coming from Seattle, it's a great, great pleasure to be all the way down here. Got invited to raise some money for Dare to Care, the food bank. That's great. For Sullivan University. And, um, you know, it's, it's a, I do this all around the country, but this is actually the event a good friend of mine, Gina Berry, contacted me, and I couldn't say no. She's she's a queen of making it happen to the right place at the right time, and being at the Derby is, of course, everybody's dream, so sure. here I am. We love having you as a guest. I've got some more questions for you. What drives you to excel in your area of expertise for so many years and being so successful? 
Well, Alex, what makes me excel? I get up early in the morning and I don't know when I'm going to go to bed. And in between, it's basically great work with a lot of passion in what I do. I've been doing this since I was 14 years old and I'm only 29. So, what well, is that, 15 years? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, you know, it's a, it's a, you excel in any profession, I think, by having the passion for it. And just, you know, it's never over. You just keep doing it. And um, raising money for hunger in America, Number one, it's mind-boggling people go hungry. Second of all, raising money yeah. for hunger as a chef is a, is a must. Who or what inspired you on your path, your career path? Is there any particular individual or incident, if you will? I must say that um, eating lunch and dinner prepped by my mom every day is what the inspiration is. You know, when you like to eat, you eventually have to find a way to cook. Otherwise, you're not going to eat as well. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. What's the best piece of advice ever given to you, Terry? And it can be more than one, personal or professional. When I left France, when I was 20 years old, my dad didn't, you know, I come from a poor family, we didn't have any money. My dad said, please, hello, goodbye, and thank you. And to this day, like I'm, I'm using that as a protocol of, you can't go wrong with those words, and it opens doors. Mm-hmm. Stay polite. Now, I have to ask this question because we are at the home of the Kentucky Derby, Churchill Downs. Everybody loves a good horse name. If you could name your own horse, what would you name it and maybe why? I'm going to go with Omaha Beach because I work, I work in the Mont Saint-Michel, which is right between at the border of Normandy and Brittany in France. And Omaha Beach is very, if you've never been to France and you've never been to Normandy, it is a must to see what the horror of war can do and how grateful we should be when we're at peace. Mm, I like that. So Chef Terry, I'm very curious, what are you serving at Taste of the Derby this year? Well, um, you know, I make a point when I go and travel around the country to at least showcase something from the Northwest. I'm from Seattle, Washington, Mm -hmm. and one of the key uh, beautiful food ingredients that we have is salmon. We have wild salmon, which most of the country, unfortunately, is not acquainted with because you know, it's, it's very local and very seasonal. Um, so I brought beautiful uh, salmon here, some coho salmon, wild. I'm going to serve it. I'm going to cook it on the plancha, little pieces cooked on the plancha, and then put on top a olive tapenade with lemon confit and harissa, which is a hot chili pepper stew from North Africa. So it will have a little olive flavor, a little heat to it, right on top of that salmon that's going to be cooked medium rare to medium. It's going to be... Yummy, so we need to see you at the Taste of the Derby. So, Kurt, I have a question for you. So, you know, you keep asking me questions. Now it's your turn. Okay. What are you going to make for Mother's Day? You must have a mother somewhere. What are yes. you going to make for her? What am I going to make for her? The best dish that the best chef in Louisville can cook. <laughs> <laughs> That's called reservation. Yeah. You know, oh. we, we love people like you in my business. <laughs> yes, it's job security, right? <laughs> Absolutely. We love those Mother's Day. Don't forget, it's Mother's Day coming up soon. Cook something really nice to your mom or take her out. Buy her some roses. There's plenty of them here. And a nice glass of champagne. I like that. Now, this is a, we do a much more formal studio-type interview that's longer content. Fortunately, we don't have the luxury of that in this kind of uh, atmosphere. So this question's a little meaty for a situation like this, but I always ask it. It's our signature question. You know, God forbid, Chef Terry, it's your last day on earth. Maybe you get to enjoy the Kentucky Derby, but then that's it. How do you want to be remembered by colleagues, family, friends, people you fed and made happy over the years at beautiful occasions, I'm sure? Well, I would like to be remembered if there is such a thing. <clears throat> I'm sure people are going to forget about me very quickly, but I'd like to be remembered as the guy who never stopped giving. Mm-hmm. Um, I believe in karma. That's the only thing I believe in life. And um, you do to others what you want them to do to you. Okay. Too many people need help. Not enough people are giving hands. Giving is, is a very good, dear thing. It is. Chef Terry, row to row, thanks so much for being on Moxie Talk with Kurt Jacobs it and joining us this morning. Pleasure, Kurt. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chef Terry, row to row, for being on Moxie Talk with Kurt Jacobs here at historic Churchill Downs, home of the iconic Kentucky Derby. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more. Hi, I'm Kurt Jacobs, host and creator of Moxie Talk, and we're coming to you on location from historic Churchill Downs, home of the iconic Kentucky Derby. And I'm here with guest Jacob Tammy. He's a retired NFL football player. Welcome to the Derby. 
Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. What has the Derby Week been like for you so far, Jacob? It's been great. It's been great. It's great to get back here this morning uh, with uh, several veterans we're working with, uh, with Homes for Our Troops, uh, a group that uh, my wife and I have been supporting for 10 years now. So what a fun morning back here on the backside. What drives you to excel in your area of expertise, Jacob? You know, I'd have to say probably my family. Okay. You know, everything I do kind of goes back to, to them, you know, mm -hmm. just family and kids. Uh, when, you, when you're raising a family like that, there's always drive to, sure. to go succeed and go uh, – and, and go be the best dad you can be. Go be the best in your uh, line of work that you can be for them. Okay. What's the best piece of advice ever given to you, Jacob? And it can be more than one, personal or professional. Ooh, a, I've been blessed to be around a lot of great sure. coaches, uh, mentors, my parents. Um, yeah. I, you know, I have to say one of the things that sticks out to me, though, is Roger Staubach said, uh, you know, a lot of guys, no secret that there's, there's guys that kind of struggle after their NFL career ends yeah. with, you know, mental health, physical health, all kinds of different things. Mm -hmm. And one of the things he said that helped him go on to a successful business career after after the NFL was when you get done with football, go a 1,000 miles an hour in another direction. And so that's one of the things we've done. I've got a lot of interests. Uh, you know, I, I'm a financial advisor, working wealth management every day. We've got a cattle farm, you know, so uh, we're, we're a 1,000 miles an hour in another direction. I've got so many fun things happening in life. So that mm -hmm. piece of advice was, was real key for me, you know, three, four, five years ago when I ran into it. Mm -hmm. Who or what has inspired you on your path, oh, well, inspirationally, I guess you'd say? Yeah, you know, I have to say, well, my, my wife is a cancer survivor, so I get, I mean, I'm around her every day, uh, so that's that's, that's, a, that's, that's a big cool. one. Um, yeah. You know, coaches, uh, you know, great teammates over the years, you know, I was I was fortunate to go uh, my rookie year in the NFL, I went to the Colts when it was a time when there was, it was like a veteran laden team, so many different guys that I learned so much from that. So you were the newbie newbie. Oh man, well you're, yeah, you're always the newbie once, right? right so right. Uh, going through that experience was, was great, but it was a great place for me to go learn and uh, I, you know, really helped me kind of excel throughout the course of my career and grow. Mm -hmm. Um, but just been so thankful to have uh, so many great influences in my life uh, from early on in childhood through now. So Now, I would be remiss if I didn't ask this at the Churchill Downs, home of the Connick Kentucky Derby, but everybody loves the name of a horse. So if you can name a horse, what would you name it? Oh, uh, you know what? I would, I'll tell you one of my favorite names. One of my favorite horse names. We, we, got, we were a... a owner with a lot of partners uh and a horse named conte partiro which means try to spell that uh, yeah c-o-n-t-e-p-a-r-t-i-r-o uh conte partiro yeah. and uh it means time to say goodbye uh -huh. and you know it, it had a dual purpose right yeah. because it's a cool name for a horse to say time to say goodbye like time to time to see you later you know time right. to say goodbye we're gone right. uh and, but also she was uh in one of i think she was in the last crop um scat daddy the great sire before he passed away so he passed away and it was sort of a tribute to scat daddy mm -hmm. and also uh, a cool horse name so a neat dual purpose name conte partiro i like that i like that so we do a much more in a different setting than this obviously on location but we do a much more formal studio type interview this is pretty much our signature question so it's a little meaty a little heavy for this environment but i think you can answer it you know if it all ended today jacob is your last day on earth you walked out of the Churchill Downs racetrack. How do you want to be remembered by colleagues, fellow football players that you've worked with, coaches, family? Wow. Well, that is a heavy question. Yeah. Uh, but you know, I would want to be remembered, you know, as a guy who made a difference. I'd want to be remembered as a believer. Uh, I'd want my kids to remember me as a great dad, and I'd want you know the people I played football with to remember me as a great teammate. And if those three things could happen, I'd say it would have been a success. It sounds like a life well lived. Jacob, thanks for being on Moxie Talk with Kurt Jacobs. I appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you for joining us, Jacob Tammy, on Moxie Talk with Kurt Jacobs on location at historic Churchill Downs in Louisville, Kentucky, home of the iconic Kentucky Derby. Stay tuned. <laughs>
see uh, Linda Doan and the, and the people that are working here on the backside helping to provide a recovery program. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, just to get to see the horses and see the crowd, all, see all the um, beautiful people that come out to see the That's derby. great. Yeah, the, the outfits are unbelievable. So, question for you. How many derbies do you think you've done so far, roughly? Only about ten. Only. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll leave the rest to, uh, yeah. The, the first four or five were in the infield. I don't remember. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> and there was no video social media no, back then, right? Not at all. Not at all. No social media. So, I love this question. It's so fitting for being at the home of the Kentucky Derby. If you could name your own horse or you owned it, what would you name it and why? Well, it's already been named. Okay. Code of Honor. Like that. And it fits my, my, my experience, my background, my military experience. And so Code of Honor is my, my favorite name for the Derby this year. It's beautiful. Jay, thanks so much for being on Moxie Talk. Enjoy the Derby. Go, baby, go, right? right. <laughs> Hi, Bob. Kirk Jacobs, Moxie Talk. Can we get a quick question with you? Uh, our first question is, if you had your own horse, what would you name it, or what's the favorite name of a horse that you had? You know what? I, I always thought Silver Charm, my first derby winner, was a really cool name. He was already named. And uh, my derby winners, you know, War Emblem was a great name. Uh, American Pharaoh, Justify was a great name. Real quiet, that was sort of a name that I never thought. I, I heard the name, I go, there's no way he's going to be a good horse. But one thing about names, once they can really run, it sounds like a great name. Like Fuziachi Pegasus, who won the derby. Like, who would have thought, that's a horrible name, you know? But, you know, I've, I've had some horses like visiting good that's made a million dollars, you know? And, but, you know, once a horse runs, though, the name means a lot. Okay, Bob, last question. God forbid you walk out of Unbridled tonight. It's your last day on earth. How do you want to be remembered? Like friends, family, colleagues? You know, I, I worked hard and, you know, I was kind to people and, and I gave back. And um, to different charities, you know, I've always been, my wife and I have been very good about charities. I really think I've been blessed and, uh, and, and that's why I think I have a lot. I've been really lucky in my life. Tracy, Kurt Jacobs, Moxie Talk. What, what is the best piece of advice ever given to you? Oh my gosh, uh, just to be passionate about what you do. I think the big thing in the music industry is is uh, be passionate about the music that you cut, and you can continue to do it for a long time. I know a lot of a lot of my peers that have been forced to cut things that 10, 20 years later they wish they'd never done. So stay true to your guns. It's the best thing to do. If you own your own horse, what would you name it? Oh, Birmingham. Paint me a Birmingham. Absolutely. Monty, Kurt Jacobs, Moxie Talk. What's the best piece of advice ever given to you? Really was to stay true to yourself and be who you are. If you had your own horse, what would you name it? I'm going to have to go, if, if I had to name it anything, it would be Jackie. DB, Kurt Jacobs, Moxie Talk. What's the best piece of advice ever given to you? Be yourself. Always be yourself. If you had your own horse, what would you name it? If I had a horse, what would I name it? Um, that's a really great question. Uh, I think I would just name the horse, uh, it's going to sound crazy, but it would be Moonlight. Paul, can you say a few words? Or? Appreciate it. Kurt Jacobs with Moxie Talk. Kurt, how, how are you? How you enjoyed Derby Week so far? Love it. Love, Love it. it. It's unlike anything else out there. All right. A little loaded question for this kind of environment. What's the best piece of advice ever given to you? Ooh, that's a great one. I would say trust your instinct and and, and that be a battle of endurance okay. and fight. Right. And no matter what, right or wrong, look yourself in the mirror at the okay. end of the day and know that uh, that's the best you got is your is your uh, integrity like and your it. gut. I like it. The last question, if you could name a derby horse or any horse in general, what would you name it? 
Well, I'm going for War of Will today. So I would say uh, if I could take a horse out to the track for the next Kentucky Derby, it'll be called Integrity. like it. Thanks so much, Paul. Enjoy the Derby. Appreciate it very too. Kurt Jacobs, Moxie Talk. Hi, Kurt. How are you? How are you enjoying the Derby so far? Oh, it's been excellent. So yes. far, so good. Yes. That's Lots great. of Woodford Reserve. So what's the best piece of advice ever given to you? Uh, what comes to mind? I think that you just need to wear comfortable shoes on <laughs> Derby Day <laughs> and have general. plenty of Woodford. Right? <laughs> like All right. So if you could name a horse, whether you own it or not, what would you name it? Uh, Woodford. Wow. Okay. I do have a horse. His name's Cody, but... He was already named before I got him. But if I did, it'd be okay. either Woodford or Double. Okay. Because Double Oaks. Well, have a great derby. Thanks for Thank you. Good out. to see you, Kurt. You too. You a too. Good derby. Thanks. Kurt Jacobs, Moxie Talk. Hey, Kurt. I know you come to the derby regularly. What's your favorite part of the derby week so far? You know, this guy, uh, Warren Moon, and I became buddies 15 years ago at this derby. It's my 15th straight in a row. Uh, the Unbridled Eva Gala, where it all goes to charity. I love them women. <laughs> this is my normal voice, isn't it? Yeah, I lost this thing a few days ago. Uh, sometimes the best things you can do in life, the best deals you can make in life are the ones you walk away from. Best advice ever. Be the Mr. Guinea. Original. <laughs> I like it. Thanks, Bob. Appreciate it. Have a great derby. Thank you. Appreciate it. Kurt Jacobs and Moxie Talk. How are you enjoying derby week so far? Uh, we're having a blast, man. So it's, uh, it's always fun when I get to come home, man, because uh, we only live about an hour from here. So. No, it's great. I love it, too. Yeah. What's the best piece of advice ever given to you? Oh, my gosh. Uh, just keep rocking, baby. Just keep rocking and love America, baby. That's what it's all about. You can right name there. your own horse. Whether you own it or not, what would you name? Oh, my gosh. I don't know. That's my last well, one. Well, <laughs> there's a, if it was a mare, probably had Gin Gin, probably. Um, I have, if it was a stud, probably American Hero or something. Okay. I like it. Have a great derby. Thank you. Kurt Jacobs, Moxie Talk. How you like a derby week so far? Thanks, man. Thanks, man. I'm liking yours. I always love derby. This is my favorite weekend of the year for sporting events. And uh, love coming back to Louisville. The city just kind of opens up their, their arms to everybody from all around the world. And uh, great southern hospitality. you got the history that goes along with this event and the tradition and the, and the style. Can't batch it. Yeah, I love it, too. What's the best piece of advice ever given to you? Um, hydrate. Make sure you drink a lot of water while you're here because uh, there's a lot of drinking going on. How about life in general? Well, life in general, just be careful and uh, just uh, be kind and respectful to everybody. And that's what I try and do, you know. If you could name your own horse, what would you name it? It'd be called um, W Moon. <laughs> Warren, thanks so much. Have a great derby. Thank you. Kurt Jacobs, Moxie Talk. What do you like about Derby Week so far? Oh, you know, all the... Um, just all the, the, the hats and the gowns and the dress and the style and the, the heritage. Is this your first derby? It's our first derby, yes. Welcome, welcome. Thank What's you so much. piece of advice ever given to you in terms of life? Not so much derby betting, but... Uh, live each day as if it were your last. I like that. That's pretty befitting for derby. If you yeah. could name your own horse, what would you name it? Um, oh, wow. I don't know. Yeah, little Patty, how about Little Patty? There we go. Little Patty, little straight from the heart. L I L. Little Patty, I like it. Thanks so much for being on Moxie Talk with Kurt Jacobs. Thank you. Kurt Jacobs of Moxie Talk. I know you come to the Derby quite a bit. Yes, sir. What's the favorite part about the Derby week so far? Oh, you know, everything about it. Yeah, we enjoy it. it. We enjoy it up here. Everybody treats us so well in Louisville. They always have. And that's one of the reasons why we keep coming back. I, I quit counting it about 22 years. <laughs> yeah. What's the best piece of advice ever given to you in life? Uh, always keep both feet on the ground. Stay true to your roots. Thank you, Travis. One last question. If you could name your own derby horse or a horse in general, what would you name it? Um, almost persuaded. <laughs> on that note, have a great derby. Thank you, Travis. <laughs> Kurt Jacobs, Moxie Talk. I'm digging the jacket. Buddy, I appreciate it, man. I know this is not your first derby. What are you loving about this derby week so far? You know, uh, I just, man, it, for, it's actually not raining. Yeah. I, I won the trifecta yeah. yesterday at the Oaks. Uh, my wife's here with me. I performed last night. My single's on Country Radio number 29 right now. I'm, I'm excited. That's pretty good. Yes. You proposed good. a few years ago, right? I did, yeah. Yeah, right here. She's still with me. Yeah, you're, you're doing something right. <laughs> hey, what's the best piece of advice ever given to you in life? Uh, you know, take every gig that you can get. Take every opportunity. You know, I had a friend tell me one time, if you're going to play music, you got to you get out. You got to get your name out. Promote. 
I played nursing homes, churches, bonfires. I've worked my way up from the bottom, man. I, I've never turned down a game. If you could name your own derby horse or horse in general, what would you name it? Oh gosh. Oh gosh, man, beautiful. Farm boy, Farm boy my first, first my first no. single. Farm boy wins the derby by a neck. Boy, yeah. JD, thanks. Appreciate it. Kurt Jacobs with Moxie Talk. How you doing? Is this your man? Hey, good. welcome. Is this your Sarah. Sarah? How you doing? Is this your first derby so far? It's my second. We were here last year, so. What are you liking about this one? Well, so kind of the same things we liked about the last one. That's why we're back. Exactly. So, uh, <laughs> one of the questions we like to ask is, what's the best piece of advice ever given to you in life, in general? Oh man. Either one of you. You know, uh, I guess uh, never say you can't. You know. I like that. You know. Never say it because you say it, and that means you believe it. You can't do that. Gotcha. If you could name your own derby horse or a horse in general, what would you name it? <laughs> Long stroke. <laughs> On that note, thank you, Lee. Have a great derby, Sarah. Good luck to you all. You too. Words, super quick. Kurt Jacobs of Moxie Talk. I hear it's your first derby. It's unbelievable. It's quite an honor to be here. I mean, this is uh, America's longest-running sporting event, right? So I know you won the Oscar. So what's the best piece of advice in life you can, in general that you could give? Uh, don't give up. Believe in yourself, believe in your dreams, and hang in there and uh, trust in God and uh, th things work out. If you could name a derby horse or a horse in general, what would you name it? Secretariat. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Thanks so much for being on Moxie Talk. Thanks. Nice Kurt Jacobs of Moxie Talk, thanks for Doing coming right. up. Doing great. I know this is not your first derby, so how are you enjoying derby week so far? Uh, we are loving it. We've just been in town for a couple of days. This is actually our fourth time at the derby. Yes. Um, and it just gets more and more fun every time. It's a lot of fun. It just kind of takes over yourself and the city and everything. Yes, and we love Louisville, so it's always good to be back in town. What's the best piece of advice given to you in life in general? Not for the derby picks or anything, but life. Um, in life? Oh, that's so tough. Um, for us, I think it's if you believe in something, um, believe it wholeheartedly and, and go for it wholeheartedly. Um, we're both people of great faith. And um, we're kind of on this crazy journey in life. And so for us, that's kind of our grounding foundation. And so for us, I think the greatest advice, we've been given it by multiple people, is just to stay true to who we are and to uh, stay grounded. But also, like I said, if you believe in something, really go for it and believe in it. That's great. If you could name a derby horse or a horse in general, what would you name it? If we could name one, I don't know, probably Frank. Frank? I think I know why I would be that. Jordan, <laughs> thanks so much for stepping up here to Moxie Talk with Kurt Jacobs. Have a great derby. Thanks. You Thank too. you. David, super quick. Kurt Jacobs, Moxie Talk. How's it going? Oh, it's going fabulous, man. I know you've been in the derby before, but it's been a while. Yes, yeah, it has been. How are you enjoying derby week so far? It's going great, man. It's all about this racetrack. I love it. And the racetrack looks amazing. I mean, I guess it's been redone well, it's been two or three times. A yeah, a really lot of facelifts. Yes. No, I like it. So what's the best piece of advice ever given to you in life or in general? Um, I'll tell you, be, being sincere for a moment, live life now. Express love now. Don't wait. Do not wait. And the older I get, the more I listen to it, my own inner voice. So I live by that. Yeah. Sharing that. If you could name a derby horse or a horse in general, what would you name it? Well, I'd name it I'll Never Win. <laughs> David, thanks so much for being on Moxie Talk. Thanks. Kurt Jacobs, Moxie Talk. How you doing? Welcome. Not your first derby. Thank you. How are you enjoying Derby Week so far? I love Derby Week. I mean, it's beautiful, and to, to have my buddy here with me and, and show him some Kentucky hospitality, and we're seeing it in style with the Barnes Stable Brown Gala. They, they take care of us, and we're blessed to be a part of it, and we're glad to be here. This question, is for, this question for either one of you. What's the best piece of advice given to you in life or in general? You want to go? Wow. I mean, uh, you can tell them the, the temptations. We, yeah, we got to perform with the Temptations way back in the day. Yep. And backstage. We were opening up for Brandy, wasn't it? At it was Central Brandy, Florida. Temptations and Temptations us. and we us. We were just starting. And one we weren't of the, even signed yeah, yet. It was, it was like one of the, the still remaining members. That was, uh, I think there was only a couple of them that were still around at the time. Uh, one of them said to us, best advice I can give you guys is that this whole thing you're doing is two words. Show business. You got to treat them both equally. Because while you're doing your show, somebody can be taken off with your business. Yep. And I'll never forget that was some of the best advice we got. If you can name a derby horse or a horse in general, what would you name it? If I could name any horse? Oh, man. Hoss. <laughs> mm, winner. That'll work. Thank you guys for being on Moxie Talk. Have a great derby. I love it. Love the outfit. Kurt Jacobs of Moxie Talk. How you doing? Is this your first derby? 
My first derby, and it looks like it's not yours. No, no, I've been Very enjoying quite a few, quite a few. How are you enjoying Derby Week so far? So great, man! It's so great. It's it's great to catch up with a bunch of friends, and I haven't seen a lot of these people in a long time. So it's been it's been beautiful. So I love this question. What's the best piece of advice ever given to you for life or in general? Uh, you know, uh, remember and never forget that it's supposed to be fun. Yeah. Anything. Simple and to the point. If you could name a Derby horse or a horse in general, what would you name it? Um, if he's a female, I'll call it the wolf fed. Okay. Wolf. Uh, wolves are my, my spirit animal. You know, and I, I saw some uh, some ladies having good days yesterday. So, yeah. I like it. Have a great derby. Thanks for stopping. Jennifer, super quick. Hi. Kurt Jacobs, Moxie hey, Talk. Love this hat. Thank Unbelievable. You. I, love it, your, I love your well, seersucker. Thank you so much. Is this your first derby? It's my first derby. <laughs> I love it. And I'm so How pumped. How are you liking it so far? I'm loving it. I have a feeling I'm about what an honor to sing the, the anthem. national anthem. I am great. blown away. I so, cannot believe it. So what's the best piece of advice ever given to you in life or in general? In, oh, Jesus, in life or in general? I don't know. I mean, you know, I could pull from some derby advice and just sure. say bet on a winner. Okay. If you could just do that every time, we'd be solid, right? But go with your gut, really. Okay. I, and I feel like that I feel like that today in terms of the horses. I feel like that in life. Like if your gut says this is the thing, do it. I like it. Yeah. You can name a derby horse or a horse in general. What would you name it? Now I am put on the spot, Kurt, because I love a good pun. I love a good pun, and I can't—I I can't think of it right now. I mean, I might name it Dog and Pony Show. I no, might name it. Yes, I—I've got—I'll have to think about this a little more for sure. Jennifer, best Thank of luck to you. Because you what? know what I love? I love champagne. So maybe I would name it No Champagne, No Gain. That's I like that. That's That's that. Thanks so much for being on Moxie Talk. Yeah. Great luck. Good luck today. Kurt Jacobs, Moxie Talk. How are you doing, Natalie? Travis, good to see you. Good to see you. Is this your first derby? First derby, yeah. I'm going to ask these questions to both of you. Okay. What's the best piece of advice ever given to you in life or in general? In life? Yeah, not derby. Oh, God. <laughs> um, don't ever, ever uh, argue between, oh, no, what is it? Between the hours of 1 a.m. and 6 a.m., any argument that happens doesn't count. It's mostly about having a newborn, but I think it probably counts across the board. So, how are you enjoying Derby Week so far? It's great. If it, he asked me, it's uh, a lot of fun. He asked me what day it was, and I was like, I think we've been here for a month. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's a week. He was, thing he now. was like, Is it day three? Yeah, I'm like, Derby, Wormy, Derby. Right. Yeah. 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 Wednesday, yeah. Oaks yeah. Day. Yeah. The last question I like to always ask is, if you could name your own Derby horse or a horse in general, what would you name it? Oh. Well, my grandfather owned horse uh, race horses, and he let he let me name one, and it was called Malika Malika Malika. I was like, spell that after a few mint juleps. Yeah. Yeah, right. Say it after a few mint juleps. Thanks so much for being on Moxie Talk. Have a great derby, guys. You look great. Birds make music, music all day. Kurt, good How's to meet you. Going, you guys, Moxie you talk. guys enjoying Derby? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It. It's not your first Derby, I know, because you all did the anthem a few years ago, right? No, we, this is our first Derby. This is your first Derby. Absolutely. We did Breeders' Cup. That's, That's what it was. I was at that. That's great, man. You guys look lovely. Thank, Thank you, man. So, how are you enjoying Derby Week so far? We are really enjoying it. It's hard yeah. to it's hard to uh, decipher business yeah, from fun because <laughs> we're having fun while we work. So yeah. it's amazing. What's the best piece of advice given to any of you in life or in general? Go ahead, tell them, Mantra. What's the best piece? Don't be late. <laughs> <laughs> Man, now if I could live by that. <laughs> Never give up. Okay. Never give up. Keep dream, dream, and then make it come true. That's Never great. give up. China. Oh, work hard. Work hard and persevere. And he took mine. Uh, don't stop dreaming. People ain't dreaming no more. Dream. Dream. <laughs> All right. If you could name a derby horse or a horse in general, what would you name it? Win, win, win. <laughs> oh, my wife. What's the one that it sounds like it's for your wife? Oh, you're saying if we By my stand. If, yeah. if we could make our own name. Oh. oh. Lincoln Bridge. Absolutely. Yeah, he'd be Lincoln oh. Bridge. <laughs> you guys have a great derby. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you, Thanks for stopping by. All the best to you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, Mike. Kurt Jacobs of Moxie Talk. Good Welcome to the derby. First derby, correct? No, no. Uh, Jasmine's first. I've been here uh, probably six, seven times. That's great. Yeah. That's great. What do you like so much about the derby week so far? Well, I love the excitement. I love the fashion. I, I love the fact that we're here with the Unbridled Foundation. We, we get to do a lot of good work for a good charity and uh, have a great time doing it. What's the best piece of advice ever given to you in life or in general? 
<laughs> Don't bet on horses. <laughs> You're going to run with that one? No, I'm going to bet. <laughs> if you could name a derby horse or a horse in general, what would you name it? Either one of you. Oh, I've never thought about it. Uh, you have a lot of fun with it. Lucky bastard. <laughs> I like it. Mike, have a great derby. Thanks for stopping by. Good luck to you all. Thank you for joining us on Moxie Talk with Kurt Jacobs from historic Churchill Downs, home of the iconic Kentucky Derby.